Hey everybody, um, hope your 2019 is going well. I know mine is. Um, I'm hoping that you're getting into some exciting things and trying out uh, some new ways to uh, to learn and to uh, just improve yourself. Um, I've already I'm already doing pretty well, sticking with my list that I did in one of my other uh, one of my other videos. And uh, I'm pretty, pretty optimistic about how this is all going to go this year, and I hope I can keep up that momentum. I'm going to do my best. But today what I'm going to talk about is um, I want to talk about some of the books that I use whenever I am studying, uh, or that I started out on, rather, uh, studying front-end development. Um, whenever you study front-end development, the three things that they're going to tell you to study is uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Um, and as you start studying, you understand exactly why that is. Those three languages right there are uh, pretty much the language of any web page that you will come across. Um, JavaScript can be fairly challenging, but um, if you keep at it and you study and you have good uh, good sources, then uh, I mean you can pretty much learn it, uh, pick it up pretty easily. Um, and one of the problems I found whenever I was uh, starting out is that I didn't. There wasn't a whole lot of uh, sources that I could find on YouTube or on the internet that would recommend like actual books. I had to go and I had to go and search a lot. So hopefully this will help you. I'll put some links uh, to some other sites as well uh, and sources that you can use to kind of help you understand and put it all together. Um, but uh, first book we're going to go. Um, a lot of people know this one. This is from uh, John Duckett and uh, it's the uh, Design and Build Websites series. Uh, HTML and CSS. Um, this is a this is a very popular book. Um, I've seen it in a lot of places. Um, it's basically uh, it looks thick, but uh, don't let that scare you. Um, this breaks down pretty much every element of uh, HTML and CSS, and it goes through it with uh, simple language. Uh, it gives you examples uh, along with the results, like here. Uh, you can see there's a very simple example of the code. Or, uh, spanning columns or uh, spanning rows which is something that you will have to learn if you're gonna build tables um, but it's very very easy to read um, it's got a lot of examples and um, I've found it very very useful especially for reference um, and just it's a good place for me uh, that I started on um, and it got my feet wet so to speak um, so this one right here I would definitely recommend uh, as a beginner uh, the second one in the series, also by John Duckett, is JavaScript and jQuery. Um, this one you I would probably read second to the uh, HTML and CSS book, uh, just because HTML and CSS are a lot easier to uh, to get your mind around. Uh, JavaScript and jQuery. Uh, JavaScript is basically the programming language of the web. jQuery is basically like a library um, based off of JavaScript. So once you learn the JavaScript, then it goes into the jQuery and it just kind of, it all builds on itself. Um, again, this book is full of wonderful illustrations. Um, it's broken down into sections and it does a thorough explanation of everything that it's talking about with examples and illustrations. Um, if you're like me, you're pretty much kind of a visual learner as well as a doer. I like having... Uh, visual models and things that I can connect with actually doing the uh, activity so there's some examples in here too. Uh, do bear in mind that these books came out uh, a little while ago so a lot of people will say that they are outdated um, but you can still learn a lot. I still feel that the, uh, the information is very relevant um, so if you are looking for a good place to start these two books the HTML CSS JavaScript and jQuery by John Duckett, and I'm going to put a link to those in the description for you. Third book that I kind of stumbled across, um, I had bought an algebra book uh, by the same publisher and same series. Um, this is called Teach Yourself, Sam's Teach Yourself JavaScript in 24 Hours. Um, basically, this is the fifth edition, um, so it covers JavaScript 1.8 plus Ajax and jQuery. So um, it gets a little bit more into libraries, um, but it, instead of chapters, you have uh, it's broken down into hours. So I mean, it's like your first hour is going to be uh, like uh, just doing operators and numbers and stuff like that, and then hour two it'll move on to something else. At the end of each chapter, it uh, gives you pretty much like quizzes 
and uh, activities that you can do, plus websites that you can go to. Um, so you'll have like a Q&A, like it'll summarize, you'll have a Q&A, and then you'll also have a quiz at the end of the chapter, just to kind of test your knowledge and see if you understand it. And then uh, it also has exercises, uh, so it kind of builds off of the chapter, so if you, were, uh, if you feel confident, you can kind of tackle those. And then it just moves on to the next hour, so it does that um, all the way to the end of the book. Um, and uh, I find this uh, extremely helpful just because of how simple the information is broken down. It's very straightforward language, um, and I feel that this is a pretty decent recommend. So uh, Sam's Teach Yourself JavaScript in 24 Hours. Uh, if you can get the latest edition, I would definitely do that. Um, I'm not sure if the fifth edition is the actual most recent. I, I don't think it is, but still a good book. You can learn a lot. Um, these next two, I'd probably recommend uh, whenever you get a little bit more uh, comfortable with JavaScript because they, the concepts are a little bit more advanced. Um, first one would be uh, JavaScript, The Good Parts. Um, I've heard this book being recommended in certain forums and uh, I got to take a look at it. And it, it definitely, uh, the concepts are a little bit more advanced than the uh, previous books I mentioned. Um, it does have various examples of code. Um, that language is very easy to understand. And um, let's see, good example. So yeah, so you'll have a few tables definitely have some code examples in there. Um, like I say, it's uh, it's not a very thick book, um, but it just uh, the concepts are definitely more advanced, so I would definitely see it about getting more comfortable with these other books um, and then going after this one. Next one I'm pretty sure you've heard about um, is Eloquent JavaScript. This is just the second edition. I think there's a third one supposed to be out already, but um, I bought this one back before that one came out, obviously. Um, this book is fairly thick, like the other ones, but uh, the language is easy to understand. It's got a lot of good examples, um, and uh, it's kind of like the uh, John Duckett series books, but uh, it's a little bit more concise. It's not as broken down, but you do have plenty of examples and explanations and code um, that you can get into, and um, some people say that this is one that you should get into whenever you kind of understand JavaScript concepts a little bit more so you can kind of read through it faster. But uh, it does go through numbers, booleans, data sets, and uh, all of that. And plus a few ideas on how to think uh, like a programmer whenever you're writing. So Eloquent JavaScript, um, there's even a, a website, I think it's Eloquent JavaScript or eloquentjs.com. Um, lots of really cool stuff there. It's basically just the book um, on the web. I'll put a link to that in, as well. And uh, this next one here is just one that um, I found on the internet uh, just because I wanted to kind of wrap my head around computer science a little bit more. So um, this one here, Computer Science Distilled, is uh, pretty much uh, just a really simple uh, way of kind of uh, condensing, I would, I would think, you know, like a four-year degree in computer science into just a small book. Um, the concepts in here are very simple, uh, but the language is, um, it's a little bit tougher to read because uh, the language is a little, I, I'd say a little bit more academic for lack of a better term. Um, but it's definitely, um, it's not hard to read. Um, you definitely can grasp the concepts uh, that are explained in here. And uh, it just goes over different things like algorithms, uh, sorting and all that, how to plan that stuff out. Um, and like I said, it's not a very thick book, um, but the things that are expressed in here, um, I would definitely get familiar with because these are things that are, that are used out in the world of computers. So I definitely recommend this one. It has been a fantastic read. Also, um, there are plenty of sites. I'm going to put some of those links in the uh, description, uh, so that you can check those out for yourself, especially for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Um, there's lots of good resources out there. It's just knowing where to start. Uh, whenever I was first getting into this, um, I had to do a lot of searching on Google, which is not a bad thing. Um, you discover a lot of wonderful things and then you also go through a lot of stuff that's just kind of like, uh, maybe I'm not ready for this or it's, it's useless to you at the moment. 
Um, but uh, I'll put a lot of those links there. I'll also put a link to my website, uh, therealcoreysanders.com. I've already got a bunch of those links set up there. If you want to stop by there and check it out, um, or I'll just put the links in the description so you can just go straight there. But um, anyway, if you have any material or any websites that you recommend, um, leave them in the comments. Um, I would love to discover new ways to learn. Um, I, I love doing that. Um, there's always a question I have, and sometimes something will come across in a different way, or they'll use a different verbiage or a different way of explaining it, and it just, it just clicks better the way that it's explained. So if you have any books or resources that you like to use, um, go ahead and share them. Um, I mean, the best way you can learn is uh, just information. So, um, Also, if you do like this video, please make sure and hit the like button. Also, uh, if you like the content, please subscribe so that uh, you can get the alerts and everything. And uh, just let me know if I'm doing a good job. Um, and thank you very much for watching.